Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This lighting makes me look like a ghost. Guys, sad news. I went to do this review today and my camera died right as I was taking my very first vape of the video. And so, you put up to deal with a short review on my nasty webcam. I am so sorry. Please forgive me and I promise tomorrow's review will be back on with my regular camera. It's actually attached to my computer right now and charging. So, So a long, long time ago when I first started doing vape reviews, I did a review for the Ego C battery, which is just a small Ego style battery by Joytech, and I got a request to do like the next version up from that, which is the Ego T or well, the Ego T2. It's um a bigger battery and it actually is um it's not variable voltage per se, but you it does have an adjustable voltage. It has just two settings, a high and a low. So here's the battery. Oh my god, this camera quality is appalling. So here's the battery. I got it in green. It comes in all different colors. And I'm just going to take the iClear 30 tank off of my MVP and show you guys how the Ego T2 vapes. Um, so it's a four push start. So you push this button four times and it should fire up. See? You kind of saw it. And then it's four push off. Now to change the, the voltage, you hold down the fire button for five seconds and it will flash to the higher setting. And if you hold it again for five seconds, it will flash to the lower setting. Now, um, if the battery is uh, draining. Oh, I forgot to mention. It takes one 18650 battery. It takes one 18650 battery. So when that battery is dot, like getting a low charge, it will automatically go down to the lower setting of vaping and um, lowest voltage setting that it has. So I'm going to go ahead and vape this for you guys. Do I have it on? It's not on. All right. Really good vapor production. Um, I have it on the highest setting right now, and I figured it's it's probably not a very high voltage, and if the vapor is nice and cool, I don't like a hot vape, so it's good for me. And again, this is a battery by Joytech. And again, I am sorry that the camera quality is so crappy. I just have one of those built-in webcams on my laptop, so I promise tomorrow's review will be bright and fresh and new. Overall, it's a good vapor production, vapor quality, and you know it's not too hot for me. And I really like it. The fact that it does take an 18650 battery, it has a longer charge than the batteries that you just have to, like the little Ego C battery that you have to screw into the charger and then plug into your computer. Um, this is definitely a good like uh, starter mod, like for somebody who is, wants to go above the Sigo lights and above the little Ego batteries. This is a pretty good um, next. Step. It, again, it's not true variable voltage, but it's still a good starter mod because it gets really confusing when you start to learn um, the voltages and wattages and ohms and oh my god, it can be overwhelming. So I definitely recommend this for somebody who wants to start trying out mods but isn't ready to do the research and, you know, trial and error of, of a true variable voltage or variable wattage mod.
So I'll go ahead and put a link below to where I got this if you want one or just want to check out the website. Stay tuned to my videos. I promise I won't do them on my webcam anymore. And as always, thanks for watching.